The Phoenix Fire Department will soon have a new high-tech tool to use during the hundreds of mountain rescues that they respond to. Crews will start using drones to assess how dangerous the rescue actually is. Team 12's Mitch Carr explains how the new tool will benefit the hikers in distress as well as keeping firefighters safe. One above, range is helping us below. Another day, another mountain rescue. Wednesday afternoon, a 21-year-old woman turned her ankle on Camelback Mountain. It's above the water, second center waterfall. That required the Phoenix Fire Department's technical rescue team to pull her off the mountain. Yeah, she's in a lot of pain. The same team went out to another mountain rescue less than an hour later. Oh, so they're just going to assist her in and assist her out. They stay busy, and now they'll have some more help from the air. This is one of the drones that we use here at 12 News. Now, we use it to take pretty pictures in the valley all across the state to give you compelling visuals for the stories we tell you. But the Phoenix Fire Department is going to use it to go up Camelback Mountain and other mountains to eventually save lives. We're going to use them on mountain rescues. We're going to use them on commercial fires, on brush fires, on mapping. On mountains like Camelback and Piestewa, the hikers aren't so tough to find. But in places like Dreamy Draw and South Mountain, where the parkland is huge and the trails are many, a drone can cut down on the time it takes to find a lost or injured hiker. And it can also do something else. We can put one of these drones in the air and um, expedite our customer service, get to them quickly, bring them water, bring them a cell phone. They can carry small objects. Beyond mountain rescues, the drones will help Phoenix Fire save lives during structure fires as well. We can get an elevated position of seeing is there a roof sagging? Where and where not to put firefighters? There are privacy concerns, but Captain Keller says those have been addressed as well. Privacy is super important in Phoenix Fire Department. When we launch these drones, we will not be recording or taking pictures until we are over the emergency incident. Phoenix Fire hopes to have its people trained and its drones in the air by June 1st. Yeah, we'll just stay right here until the Mitch Carr, 12 News.